imagination is the key And with Flexo you will see a flexillion possibilities Incredible It's that time of week again Flexo fam We're building with Flexo Today's build is a treasure chest Shiver me timbers You can use it to hide all your little treasures Here you can see all the pieces that you'll need to build yourself a treasure chest. As you can see, these are the colours that we've used to build our treasure chest, but you can use whatever colours you like. Alright team, let's get building! First, let's start by building the box. This is going to make up the bottom half of the chest. As with all our build videos, the circle in the top right hand corner is going to tell you what tendons we are using as we build along. So remember to keep an eye on that. We are connecting the square and the rectangle together so that we can make a plate that's 6 studs by 4 studs. Once I have the tendons in position, I like to use the tool to make sure they're pressed in firmly. Now that we have our T5 tendons in, it's time for us to place our second layer on top, which is going to lock the tendons in. From there we're going to connect the two sides of our chest which are made from two rectangle bricks. We're then going to place a further two tendons on each side and we're going to use these later in the build to connect the chest together. Ok fam, now we'll make the final two sides of the box, which is the same pattern that we used for the bottom of the box. Now that we have all the parts of the box connected together, it's time to lock off some of the bricks. We're going to use a very common technique which is sort of crisscrossing the bricks. This is going to make our treasure chest a lot more solid. We're going to place a rectangle brick in the middle of one of the long sides of the box. Don't do the other parts just yet, we'll get to that soon. Because the end section of the box has all the tendons it needs, we can place the entire second layer on top of that. We're going to place the rectangle brick in the opposite direction to the bricks underneath it. Now we do the same with the other two sides.
Now that we have most of the parts in place, it's time to connect our box together. This part of the build might be a little bit fiddly, but be patient and you'll get it. We call this type of building, building under tension. You want to use your hands to support the bricks as much as possible, and you're then going to work the tendon into its groove. You might find it easier to use the tool. Once you've got both tendons in, you want to place that second brick on top as quick as possible. That way the tendons won't pop out anymore. Alright, now for the second corner. Again, I use my hands to support the bricks and line up the two sides, and then use the tool to poke the tendon in. Once they're in, it's another brick on top. So you can see that our box is starting to form. Sometimes you might find it more comfortable to use your hand to put the tendons in. It all comes down to your own preference. And there we have our box, which is going to make the bottom half of our treasure chest. Now that we've completed the box, it's time for us to build the lid of our treasure chest. We're going to start out by connecting three triangles. The next set of tendons are to help connect it to the rest of the lid. Once we have all the tendons in, we place our second layer on top. We repeat this process for the other side. Now that we have the two ends to our lid, it's time to make the middle. The middle is made up of three rectangles. We're going to connect some extra tendons to the middle of our lid. These will be used to create the hinges of the lid, and on the other side it will be used to create the lock for the treasure chest. Now that we have all our tendons in place, let's connect the two ends. To create the lid, we're going to have to build under a little bit of tension. So once we have the tendons in on each side, we place another brick on top to lock those tendons in.
Now that we've created our lid, it's time to bend it into its correct shape. Now we have a nice curve to the lid of our treasure chest. It's time to connect the box and the lid. To do this, we're going to take the side of the lid that has three tendons on it. First we're going to connect the short one right in the middle, and as soon as we've got it in place we're going to place a square brick on top. Next you're going to connect one of the tendons on the side. This is going to take a little bit of effort. Pull the lid across so the tendon is lined up with where it needs to go. This part as well might be a little bit fiddly, but keep going, you'll definitely get it. If you need to, you could ask mum and dad for a little bit of help. Once you've connected those tendons, you now have the hinges of your treasure chest, and you're well on your way to becoming a flexpert. Now for the final parts of our treasure chest build. We'll place a yellow circle brick on the box, and now we're going to connect a yellow triangle brick to the tendons on our lid. This is going to create the padlock for our chest. To connect the triangle to the tendons, you're going to be building under tension again. This might be a little bit fiddly, but by now you're an expert. Remember, with both the padlock and the hinges on the chest, you can use longer tendons to make it easier for you. We've used these shorter ones because it gives us a particular shape. And there we have our Flexo treasure chest. You can use it to store money, your minifigs, or even secret notes. Now that we've built the big treasure chest together, let's see how you guys get on building the little one. These are the parts we've used to build our mini treasure chest. For the mini chest, we're going to follow a similar pattern, but of course it's going to be much smaller. Once we've connected all the sides of the treasure chest, it's time to put the lock on the box.
There you go Flexo fam, two different sized treasure chests, perfect for any type of treasure. If you like this video let us know and hit that thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to us and put that notifications bell on so you'll know next week when we come out with our new video. Hope you have a great week, go out there, be creative, think differently and most of all have fun. We'll catch you next week.